Okay, so what I'm going to do today is a time-lapse video of me sprucing up an older picture. Um, this is a portrait of Count Orlok, the vampire from Nosferatu. This is from the 1979 Werner Herzog Nosferatu the Vampire version, rather than the original sort of 1920s one with Max Schreck. It's uh, Klaus Kinski as Nosferatu, uh, for those of you who care about such things. Uh, so let's get on with it, shall we? So, one of the lovely things, and also one of the big problems with digital art, is you can always go back and tweak. There's no uh, cost associated with it. You can just save your previous version, revert to that if you don't like it. You know, with a traditional painting, um, things are a bit different. You know, there might be a way to paint over the top of a painting with some sort of medium. You know, create some sort of layer that can be washed off, different chemistry, whatever. It's not impossible, but... Um, it's a lot more difficult to recover the underlying image if you bollocks that all up, which you know, I'm not a very technically skilled painter in that sort of way. I almost certainly would. Um, so I did this piece originally, I believe, in about early 2014. Um, and you can see, you know, when I flick back to the previous versions I do throughout that, you know, my technique was not particularly well developed at this point you know I started uh, digital painting in about 2012 I think yeah that's probably about right um, and so this is about halfway through uh, my sort of progression with the medium and you know you get better with practice with everything I suppose in art and well in life generally um, I was trying to go for a sort of loose impressionistic quick sort of feel with the original version of this but it just comes out fuzzy um, I wasn't using the right brushes there's problems with the underlying drawing anyway you know so yeah so anyway so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to work in a similar style to what I was originally trying to achieve here I'm not going for a sort of tomato um, you know, glossiness, uh, trying to make it quite rough, quite visceral, you yeah, know, that's, that's the feel you often get from this sort of, you know, from this character. Um, you know, he's fucking Nosferatu, mate, you know. Um, he's not a sort of pretty, pointy, sparkly sort of vampire, he's a... Uh, lives in a grave, lives in a horrible ruined castle, you know, sleeps with rats, that's what you go for. So, you know, you want to try and reflect something of the character in a, you know, in any sort of um, realist, I mean, yeah, this isn't really, you know what I mean, it's not realist, um, any sort of naturalist, naturalistic, illusionistic kind of uh, work of art, uh, the most successful ones, I personally think, have that kind of ex slightly expressionist edge. Sorry, that was quite wanky. Um, <laughs> so, I could have chosen to, somewhere in my archives, I've got the original file of this, the proper Photoshop file with all the layers and everything saved. I decided to just go use the final JPEG, work over the top of it, because, you know, for a more complex scene that would have been, you know, that sort of approach would have would have made a lot more sense, but for this, you know, it, it doesn't really need it. I'm not even sure how many layers there were originally, probably just the background and the figure of the count anyway. Um, and so I'm not really working much in layers here at the moment. Anyway, uh, as we go through to the end, um, uh, start dropping down a few sort of uh, lighting layers, which are very key to my Photoshop technique. Um, is the addition of sort of what I you know, I think of them as like washes, these sort of layers over the top. Uh, using the blending modes, which I think, you know, I think quite a lot of digital painters sort of um, sort of use similar sort of techniques. I'm not quite sure, really. Um, I'm I'm not uh, by any means an autodidact. I've got proper uh, qualifications in art, but when it comes to digital painting, I am pretty much self-taught in the sense that I don't really, I'm never really sort of um, gone for tutorials or anything like that, which. You know, it's probably a bit stupid of me actually, because uh, my most of my career digital painting has been a litany of picking up uh, really, really bad techniques or not realizing fundamental aspects of the software that I'm working with, which, when discovered, you know, sort of uh, make me sort of kick myself because I've been doing something in an incredibly <coughs> labor-intensive way that really didn't need to be done like that. But you know, 
such as life. Um, there's not really too much to say more about what I'm working out. Uh, I can't really comment in detail on the drawing technique, uh, the painting technique, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's pretty straightforward, really. You can see that I'm sort of... I Real deficiency of the picture was the eyes, uh, which I've gone through and sort of really kind of just hit nicely. Um, you want some intense sort of... That's 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 the thing that sort of jumps out about Klaus Kinski as an actor, as that sort of intense gaze. And, you know, even sort of the hallmark of his version of the character, I think, as opposed to the sort of the Shrek version. Yeah. So anyway, we're uh, pretty much done at this point, and uh, we can move forward onto the finished piece.